Welcome back guys and um, before I start the games in this video I had a few things on mind that I wanted to do I wanted to put a few players on the transfer window list and to be honest, I'm not I'm not even sure what players I want to go for I said Luke Shaw he's a player I'm thinking about but I'm really not sure so yeah Ashley Young he has no place in my squad no more so I want to sell him Sahar, Nani, Valencia, Kagawa, and Janazai, they're the players I want to use in that area. Anderson, yeah, I want to sell him as well because I'm probably going to sign another central midfielder, a young a younger player with I can potentially turn to a superstar. And then with the likes of Cleverly, Carrick, Herrera, Fellaini, I think that we <coughs> excuse me, they'd be better off if I was to sell them. And I put a few players on loan as well, lots of Will King, Michael King, Lionel Cole. Just I don't know, because I need they need games, so I'm not I'm not sure how far they can go. <clears throat> and I also want to give Butner a chance on loan as well, see what he can do. Jesse Lingard, another player I want to put on loan. So out of all the youngsters I have, Yanazai is the one I'm going to use the most because, I don't know, I think he's great. It's like Will King, he's an ex excellent young talent, but the only problem is he had a bad injury and it really did. I don't know, well I'll just wait and see I suppose how he, how he um, develops, but <clears throat> a very good young talent. Technically an excellent footballer. So yeah, that's pretty much it. And what players are start? What's the players I want to go for? I do not know. If you guys have any any suggestions for me, um, let's see what positions I'm looking at. Left back, no, because I think it's going to be Luke Shaw that I go for young players. Um, <clears throat> maybe an attacking midfielder. I mean, I'm not looking at a ridiculous money like fifty million because. I, I'm not gonna have that sort of money, but you know, somebody 20, 25 million range, maybe something like that. Maybe even less than that if you can. That'd be great. But any suggestions for me you got in mind? You know, I mean, I have a few, but you know, see what suggestions you guys have got, and maybe another young striker as well. <clears throat> maybe, maybe. Don't know, never striker. Nah, nah, not another striker actually. Yeah, a couple of attacking midfielders or and a central midfielder. Anything you have, anything you got in mind? I mean, Ross Barkley from Everton. Ross Barkley, great talent, and I think I might even look at him eventually as well. But November was November was a huge month, so this this video. Manchester Sorry, I'll, I'll split this into two videos. So, so yeah, there'll be like a part. Well, it's not even a part two. It's just like a part two of November, if you like. But yeah, game against Fulham. This was the Fulham side, and I know it's no Berbatov. I'm not sure. Where he is, I don't know if they sold him. I don't know. I don't think he's on the bench either. But here's the United side. I, so I decided to play Sahar and Nani this game. I shouldn't really leave Kagawa on the bench because he's been superb. But, you know, I need to give I need to give Sahar a chance as well. First half, nothing happens. It's just terrible half of football. And that was the only that shot you saw. That was it. So... But then... In the second half, it was good football. To try to keep the ball for a bit. And if you keep your eye on Fellaini, can you see him? Can you see him? Can you see him? Look at that run. Great run. And well, great finish. That's the sort of run I want to see from my central midfielders. I want to see him come from deep and then run like that. Look at that. Look at that run. You must run about 40 yards then to get there. Ball play for Laney, and it wasn't a header. Yay! But yep, good goal, good goal, really good goal. So uh, yeah, I needed that. I needed that breakthrough because I was on top of the game, but I just couldn't. You know, it's like, oh come on, I can. I need to get that bloody. <coughs> Excuse me. I need to get that. Just that one goal to open things up. So I want to make a few substitutes. Bring on the pace of and the movement of Hernandez, because everyone knows, everybody knows there's a goal in Hernandez. So I was hoping the same thing. 
And then there's normally one chance, one goal. I was, and I was standing thinking, why is substitute not coming on? So I thought, alright, took the throw. And then now, substitute comes on. So yeah, Kagawa and Hernandez coming on. Kagawa, a good bit of skill. Great pass and quality finish from Rooney. But Kagawa, you know, on the pitch for like a minute, or if, you know, not even a minute, was it? It was like a few seconds. And uh, great little pass there. Good touch from Rooney and, well, quality finish into the far corner. That was 2-0, definitely game over. I wasn't going to let this bloody lead slip, no chance. But then, good play by Kagura again. And again from Kagura, done well to win the ball back. Shoots, good save, and look at that, Hernandez! Diving header. And as you know, he's always in the right place at the right time. He is a proper goal scorer he's so alert he's so alive to every little thing well played Hernandez I was and I wanted to score I was happy he scored good good performance and a very good win as well but then I had a game against Napoli in the Champions Cup and I thought what am I doing why am I sim in this game I thought no this is a stupid decision and it was a draw so uh, you know what I wasn't disappointed in that game because I've got I've got a home game coming up against Real Sociedad. And there's only two games left now. I've got Real Sociedad and Bruce Dortmund away. So, Bruce Dortmund are basically out of it. If I, if I win my next game, that put me above, above Real Sociedad. And I'm hoping that Dortmund get at least a draw, or even a win would be nice, against Napoli. And I think that will pretty much put me through. So I, don't, I think I can go to Bruce Dortmund and get a draw at least. But yep, this game was massive. Arsenal. And look at this. Ozil on the bench. What the fuck is going on? Dzeko was playing. When I saw no Ozil, I thought, okay, I'm happy with that. But in the first five minutes of the game, great bit of skill by Cazorla. Great ball there. And well played to hell. Great save. Heart in the mouth moment there because Arsenal carved me open. Good movement. And a good save from David Tahir. <clears throat> and from the corner. Cleared away. Only as far as Cazorla again. Great effort and now a good save from Tahir. So yeah, Arsenal were bloody. They were on top. They really were. They pinned me back a little bit. I thought oh, I need to get out my bloody my half here because I'm going to see the goal. And from the corner again, it cleared away as far as Ramsey. Good shot, and oh, that was close. And he's been outstanding this season for Arsenal. He really has. And then again, you know, from a goal kick, passing out the pitch. Keep the ball much as I can. Pass it to Nani. For a corner. See, that's, the, that's where I, I like to keep it from the back. Play from the back, up the way up the pitch. And then look at this. Who is it? Oh, yes. Fellaini again. I'll tell you what, though. Van Persie's corners are absolutely brilliant. I mean, look at that. That is just like... It's just saying... Score. So, from the, the pressure from Arsenal... To go one the lot, I bet Arsenal will be kicking themselves. But Kagawa does really well. Great bit of skill. Great cross for Rooney. Ooh, great save. Then, no. Sorry, Rooney with a rebound. 2 0, 20 minutes gone off, and I was absolutely flying. I thought, okay, keep this up, keep going. Just try and rack up a, a bloody cricket score. But yeah, I mean, initially, what a save. Look at that. That's a quality save, but. Rune does well. The Rune does well to get in the rebound, and then ran about the half hour stage. Cleverly with an absolutely awful tackle. I mean, yep, shouldn't have done that. Shouldn't have dived in. Just should have just. I don't know. It was it was poor. Look, 
a terrible tackle. And from the penalty, Podolski taking the penalty, I thought, come on. The hair saved it. I was like, no, because I knew it was a goal. Because after the way it rebounded out, but so unlucky to her. He really was. But never mind. It was unlucky. It was a good save, but he just couldn't quite get back on his feet to react to save the second chance. But that was half time. Disappointed with that goal be that I conceded because now I knew the pressure was coming my way. But then, because he was so, so poor that first half, not because not of the casino penalty, because of his general play, I thought, you're coming off. So I've brought off cleverly for Herrera. Because for me, he was, he was terrible. And then, well, oh, you're going to see something in a sec. Who loses the ball there? Oh, Herrera. And then... I thought, oh no, 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 yeah, no, oh, what, no, so I thought, I've dealt with the danger, and now what I'll do, I'll just save Dolsky, 1-2, look, it's a 1-2, play back to him, good finish, so it was, it was just, I don't know what I was doing, I should just try clear it, so yeah, not a good start second half, but Cohen Trail does brilliantly, quality cross, Van Persie, it was unlucky, but defender done well. Good cross, unlucky. Nani shoots. No, yes, Stephanie. What? Look at that! Brilliant goal. Just on the volley, bang, hard and low, and I was, I was like, yes, I can't believe I threw away a two-goal bloody lead. Okay, look. Ready? Bang! Look at that! What a finish! So I just want to make a substitute. It's all right. I need to win this game because it's a top of the table clash. And this could potentially be a massive, massive result for the next, well, rem remainder of the season, basically. <clears throat> but, like, 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 I can honestly, I can honestly say, um, FIFA this year, you do have to work for your, for your win, seriously. I mean, like I said, I will probably will, in time, eventually get a lot better and like, win more comfortably. But at the moment, it's difficult. But Rooney, good to say. Well, you know, you know, no, 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 no. That was poor goalkeeping. When I saw that again, that was poor goalkeeping. Because there, there weren't much power on that. He could have held that. But he pushed it into Van Persie's path, who, who didn't, who didn't um, celebrate. I don't know. Was it a good save? I don't know. I'm not sure. Maybe it was. I don't know. And that was it, full time, 4-2. I mean, that was a great game of football. It really was so open. Both teams going for it. Great attacking football. I'm delighted with that result. I had low chances on goal as well. Look at that, 10 shots on target. And here we go. Look at this. My first game with Belgium. It's only a friendly. You know, I didn't I didn't realise it was a friendly. I thought it was a, um, a qualifier. But there were two coming up. So I decided to play this one and sim next game. So yeah, just see what I can do with them, you know, see how I play with them. And I was playing against Poland. So, Lewandowski, always a threat, good goal scorer. But seven minutes, gone, Hazard. Good pass by Fellaini, perfect weight, Hazard. And a good save by, I think it's Chesney in goal. So yeah, Hazard, come back on his fake right foot, just, he should have, he should have put it more wide to the goalkeeper, but good save nonetheless. I was aiming for Fellaini again, but I don't have to worry about that because Company's there. Great header from Company. Absolute beast of a player. Great player. I wish I wish he was a Man United player instead of a bloody Man City player, but nonetheless, quality player. And that was 1 0. And to be honest, the way and yeah, I don't know what happened there, but great goalkeeping there. Good block. Good save. Absolutely crazy moment of football there. Ridiculous. But great pass to Dembele. Goalkeeper clears it. Terrible, terrible clearance. Good head by Fellaini, back to Hazard. Good skill. 
come inside this, this and that is just that is quality absolutely brilliant another very good player for and I tell you, they have got a very good side Belgium bloody hell and you know if you guys play ultimate team or whatever and you want to pick players I recommend trying getting him because the, from what I use to him he's superb he really is but um, just for half time that happens and that seems to be the longest 45th minute I've ever seen it was ridiculous I mean I was like ref blow your bloody whistle and then to be fair that's good that's good good goal and then he finally blows bloody whistle didn't he Ugh. But yep, that was half time. But in the second half, good bit of football. From from the right to left. For Marlon, excellent cross. Benteke. Oh yes. Oh yes. Great cross from for Marlon. What a cross that was. And Benteke, a good goal actually, because he actually cushioned that into the far corner. Okay, so look, it was nice. Just good goal and then it was time to bring on Lukaku so things were only going to get worse for Poland because Lukaku is a, is a great player I don't understand why Chelsea allowed him to go on loan they should have just kept him but well I don't know but yeah and then because Fellaini is my player I took him off I don't want to get injured for United either so yeah but yeah, I'm like I'm I'm really liking what Belgium can do. You know, play great football. I'm, I'm not sure how far I can get them to the, in the World Cup, but I'm hoping I can get them to at least the semis or quarters. I'll be happy with that. No, 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 no. What are we on about? I want to win the bloody thing. I mean, that's seriously though. Quarters. I mean, sorry, the semis will be a, good, a great achievement. And Hazard, great bit of skill. Lukaku, yeah, great header. And a great celebration to match. Great play from Hazard on the wing. Took the player on the box. Little chip into, into a Lukaku there. And great header. Keep it no chance. 4 1. Excellent result. I mean, it's only with Frenio, obviously. But I was still happy with the result. Happy. I was delighted with the performance. I mean, some of the movement and the passing is fantastic to, to play with. They're so fluent to use. And then that next game was a another international friendly. I thought I'm not playing this game, I'll just skip this. I don't I don't normally play friendly, so I didn't realise it was a friendly, but against Venezuela. And same team basically. Same team, yeah, it was same team. And it finished 2 0. And again, Belgium are a good side. Very good side. But there we go guys. So I'm now starting to use Belgium now, starting to, you know, see what I can do with them. But anyway, guys, thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed, sorry, this video. And I'll see you guys in my next video.